if you have a spreadsheet containing locations such as stores, job sites, or shipping destinations, and you need to find accurate weather forecast data for each one, Visual Crossing Weather can do the job easily. Today, I'll show you how to use your existing spreadsheet data to find weather forecasts for multiple locations. I'll first go to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and log into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply click on the orange button on the right-hand side of the page. There you can sign up for a free trial account so that you can follow along. When prompted to add my locations, I'll choose the File Import option. Now I can either open a file browser, paste the raw data in as text, or simply drag and drop my spreadsheet file into the drop zone. As input, I can use any CSV file that contains location records such as addresses, zip codes, or latitude and longitude values. The file must also have normal column headers. The interface now shows the loaded data records and prompts me to identify the columns to be used as inputs to the weather query. The name of the address column in my data has been automatically guessed, and I'll manually select the store name for my own reference in the output data. Finally, I need to tell Visual Crossing Weather what type of weather query I want to run. The default option is a 15-day daily weather forecast, so I can simply hit the Request Weather Data button to continue. Alternately, you could look up weather history records or obtain historical weather summaries. For more information on these other options, please see our other videos on those topics. When I run the weather query, I am shown the weather calendar view. Here I can conveniently see the 15-day forecast for all of my locations on a single overview. To see the data in more detail, I'll switch to the grid view. Also, I could click the download button at the bottom of the page to export the weather data as a CSV file. I could then import the forecast records into a database or a business intelligence analytics tool. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. Now I can use this URL to load the weather query results directly into Excel. I'll show you how to do that by switching to an Excel workbook. First, I'll load the historical data by going to the Data tab and selecting the menu option to load data from the web. In the URL box, I'll paste the Visual Crossing Weather URL and click OK to submit the query. Excel will now load the weather data into a preview window. As you can see, the query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for each location and each day in the 15-day forecast window. When I click the Load button, Excel will load the weather forecast data into my workbook, and now I can begin my data analysis. To wrap up this demonstration, I'll filter my data to a single location and create a graph of the temperature over the forecast period. For comparison, I'll change the filter to make a similar temperature forecast graph for another store in my dataset. I may wish to use analysis such as this to run comparisons between my locations, for example. At this point, we have only touched the surface of how weather forecast data can be used in Excel. Once you have the data loaded into your workbook, you can use it for all types of predictive analysis. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing Weather options, such as historical weather queries, weather summary reports, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.